Hi folks, Wes here, your craft beer geek, and I'm excited to bring you another beer review. Uh, it's, it's sort of the fall season in between Halloween and Thanksgiving, and it's all about pumpkins, so I'm going to go ahead and do another pumpkin beer here. This is a beer I had years ago, about five, six years ago, when I first started getting into craft beer. I had it a couple times. Wasn't too crazy about it at the time. I'm kind of interested in giving it another try now that I've, I've sort of expanded my palate more and tasted a lot more pumpkin beers. So this is the uh, Dogfish Heads Punk. And it is 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, Dogfish Head is out of Milton, Delaware, I believe it is. Yep. And uh, it just says full body brown ale brewed with real pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So we're going to go ahead and uh, decide to go ahead and drink this out of a, a Belgian beer glass. It could be a good match for this beer. Give this a second chance. It's been a while since I had it, as I said before. If I can get it all in the glass here. Very, very clear, light golden color. I'm not sure why they call it a brown ale because it's not. I wouldn't, it doesn't look like a brown ale. It smells, you know, definitely spices and stuff you can smell already coming off of here, so it's not really. I wouldn't really. I'm not sure why they're calling it a brown ale. Um. Decent amount of carbonation coming off the, the bottom of this glass is etched, so there's a strong flow of carbonation coming up out of the bottom from that. The head dissipated pretty well. Definitely do get a sweet, spicy aroma from this. Mostly like a, a nut, like I say the nutmeg comes out pretty strong in this. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste and let you know what I think. Loads and loads of spice hit you when you first first drink this. <clears throat> there is some hoppy hoppiness in there as well. It's kind of weird. It's it's there's a lot of hops. It's hop spicy and spicy spicy with you know the nutmeg and stuff and all spice and stuff that's in here. And then it finishes with sort of a. It's, it's, I mean, it's pumpkin. It's like a vegetable cooked, cooked pumpkin sort of. Not I don't I don't like squash, so it's kind of it's kind of difficult for me. And, and it's weird. I do like. I do like pumpkin pie, but I guess mostly because it's really sweet, and this is just not. This smells sweet, but it doesn't. It doesn't taste sweet at all. I think is what what mainly I, I, draws me away from it. That was the one thing I liked about the Southern Tier is that it's it's sweet like a pumpkin pie. That's what's missing from this beer that would make it make it good. I mean, it has has good flavors, but it needs some sweetness, I think. Maybe if they made an imperial pumpkin, maybe that'd be good. But yeah, I'm not I'm not really impressed with this one. It definitely has some strong flavors. I'd, I'd say it's better than. Better than maybe like the Michelob Jack's Pumpkin Spice Ale or one of those, you know. But I can I still consider Southern Tier to be way ahead of this, and I like the even the. Uh, uh, I haven't had the 
the wire blocker yet. What's the other one? I'm not sure why I can't think of it. It's a pumpkin head. I can't think of a shipyard pumpkin head, I think it is. I like, I like that one better than this also. So yeah, for the dogfish head punk, um, I'm going to rate this, I'm honestly going to go 6 out of 10 on this, it's just not, I just don't like it. I know a lot, I know it's, a lot of people do like it, it's more power to them. Not working for me. So, six out of ten dogfish pumpkin. I'm Wes, I don't drink bad beer as you should either. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.